All right, Shalom Am Israel. I want to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai Bahashim Rekak Wadash. Devil honesty to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone and Shalom to the elect. And uh, hey, man, Slop E is at it again. All right, Slop E is going, you know, from the brother and uh, Chapal and the Kent. Um, we see what's going on, man. All right. All right, Esau the accuser, the snare is at it again. All right, and yet another reason showing you why we need Yahweh Shai, man. Why we need to get out of here, man. We really need to get out of here, man. And you know, hey, just watching certain videos. Uh, one that I was able to watch today, I was watching the uh, the brother uh, Kazak out there in the Mississippi camp. And he had did a video entitled, Hey, We Need Salvation. Because he was showing like how when you put your phone in the middle of still wool. And you call it or somebody may call it the still wool. Uh, fucking catch on fire, man. So imagine what that vibration is doing to you every time you have the phone to your ear. Or every time you're sleeping next to it or it's in your pocket throughout the day. You know? This place is deaf, man. You know, the scripture say he is as deaf. Esau Edom is as deaf. And he will not stop to persecute us until we are destroyed. That's why it is also written, unless the days be shortened, no flesh shall be saved, but for the elect sake. So the wadi Yahweh by Shim Yahweh Shai for the elect. And I have this article here. Alright, it says he killed my leader. Florida man threatened Trump on Facebook Live a day after Soleimani's assassination <laughs> all right and of course it's a a, a black man a so-called black man all right now it says a florida man wearing a towel on his head and a shower curtain over his body come on man come on man come on man a florida man wearing a towel over his head and a shower curtain over his body so you see Esau is po Esau is making fun, man. You know, Esau is trying to make jokes, man. Threatening to kill President Trump in a bizarre video streamed on Facebook Live last week. Telling his viewers the threat was in response to the assassination of Iran's top military general, federal authorities said. Chauncey Lump 26 had white cream on his face and some sort of background music appearing. To originate from the Middle East when he posted the video last Friday, just a day after U.S. drone strikes killed Qasem Soleimani outside an Iraqi airport, according to a criminal complaint obtained by the Daily News. He killed my leader, and I have to kill him. I am ready for Donald. I am ready. The Broward County man told his viewers at one point the complaint shows. Very sloppy. All right, that's why we call this man Slop E, Sleazy E, Tacky. All right, there's nothing good to say about the devil. Lump initially initially admitted to authorities that he made the seven-minute video in response to Soleimani's killing, before saying the threats were intended as a joke, according to the complaint. He was charged Thursday with knowingly and willfully making threats to kill and inflict bodily harm upon the president of the United States of federal crime. You know, so here it is. You know, they say he admitted that it, it was a joke. All right. He said, saying it was intended as a joke. And then again, he was charged knowingly and willingly making threats to inflict bodily harm upon a president of the United States. All right, so here it is. They can paint paint the picture that this man is unstable. All right, and they can look at it as far as well. How many more of those guys are there out there? You know, because now at the um this the uh, attack. All right, this, the uh, what after what Donald Trump did when he called an attack on the Iran's top general. Now many places over here in the U.S. are under alert. You know, they on the uh, 
you know, they're on the lookout for anything that may happen, you know. So here it is. This can be a prime time for Esau to what? Stage a plan attack, go into Iran, all right, which we know that's not going to happen right away because you still got the RFID chip that's got to be implemented uh, on a full scale, all right. But if Esau can wait till things simmer down, all right, that'll give him enough time to push the chip, then plan a false attack to where what? Or many false attacks to where you can blame it on so called Iranian sleeper cells and mix them in with the black Hebrew Israelites, you know? It says the U.S. Secret Service said a Facebook employee alerted the, this ag the agency about the video shortly after it went live Friday night on a page called Black Man vs. America. Come on, man. Slop E. In the video, Lump is heard laughing in at least four different occasions, though authorities believe it was in response to comments posted by viewers watching him live. Do not play with me. I have an AK-47. I have it here. Do not play with me, okay? He said at one point before threatening to go West Palm Beach. To go to, go to West Palm Beach where Trump was staying that day. Court records. Court records show. Lump, who had a legally owned semi-automatic pistol. Oh, this will also go into Esau's plans as far as taking away the guns. Who had a legally owned semi-automatic pistol when Secret Service agents visited him on Saturday. Told agents he had a bachelor's degree in Homeland Security from Bethune-Cookman University in Dayton Beach. But authorities invested, investigated and learned he only completed one semester. The suspect does not appear to have any connections to foreign terrorist organizations. But the investigation is ongoing. I'm sure it is. Lump apparently acknowledged the video threats were a mistake. I shouldn't have did it in the first place, he told authorities according to the complaint. Lump was scheduled to appear in federal court Thursday afternoon. You know, so, hey man, Sloppy is at it again. The accuser of our brethren is at it again. All right, so I got a few precepts here on the, the word snare. All right, and as I read through, you'll see that, you know, the snare was always set for the righteous. But the Lord delivered him every time, as the scriptures say, man. Many are the afflictions of the righteous, Psalms 34. But the Lord shall deliver him out of them all. All right, so I'm going to just read through, all right? This is Psalms 18 and 5. The sorrows of hell compassed me about. The snares of death prevented me. Psalms 38 and 12. They also that seek after my life lay snares for me, and they that seek my hurt speak mischievous things and imagines deceit all the day long. Okay? So Esau always looking for another way to put a snare upon his arch enemy, which is a spiritual Israelite. All right. A spiritual man calling upon his, a spiritual man. All right. Understanding who he is, understanding who his enemies are. That's Esau's arch enemy. You know, leave it up to Esau. He believes that he is God. He believes that everyone should be worshiping him. Okay, Psalm 64 and 5. They encourage themselves in an evil matter. They commune of laying snares privily. All right, when you look up that word encourage, it means chasak, to strengthen. Prevail, harden, be strong, become strong. Be courageous, be firm, go firm, be resolute, be sore. Now, one way they do that is through their media. As the brother uh, Galab, he had pointed out beautifully um, the other day to where Esau, what he, what he does is he'll have maybe, you know, four, maybe five stories playing on CNN. And he'll circulate it all the day long. And what he'll do is 
at a certain point throughout the day or certain points throughout the day, he'll add to that story, add to that story, you know? That's him encouraging himself in an evil matter, you know? Not only setting lies up, but if you, hey, as, you say, as an old saying goes in the world, if a lie is told enough times, you start to believe it. It actually becomes true, you know? Like today, they call Christopher Columbus an explorer, man. You know, they say he discovered America. They say that so many times, people actually believe it. All right? They say homosexuals deserve to have rights. People actually believe that. They encourage themselves in an evil matter. They commune of laying snares privily. That word snares, as we know, is a bait, a lure. All right? This is a hook, a gin. They say, who shall see them? Now, here it is. Esau knows that we preach against the society. So what is that snare? Well, you know, let me put a let me put this article out about this this you know this black man, which who knows if it's actually true. All right, saying that uh, he hates America. All right, that he's down he's down with Iran. You know, and let us you know what to add you know to add insult to injury. Let's put it on the uh, the page called Black Man versus America. All right. Reading on Psalm 69 and 22, let their table become a snare before them, and that which should have been for their welfare, let it become a trap. You know, King David praying against his enemies. Psalms 91 and 3, surely he shall deliver thee from the snare, from the trap of the fowler, and from the noisome pestilence. All right. And this is why we pray, man. We pray every day, man. All right? And we hope in Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai deliver us from this life and everything it has to offer, man, as far as, you know, the flesh and doubts and, you know what I'm saying, uh, that being faithless, you know, deliver us from our enemies you know, deliver us from ourselves, man. We pray that we need deliverance, man. As Yahweh Shah said, what? We also pray that the Lord forgive us of our debts. We forgive our debtors. You know, our debtors meaning our brethren. All right. And that the Lord <coughs> cast Esau into a land barren and desolate. And we see that happening. So the Lord is hearing our prayers. Psalms 106 and 36. Nah, I could skip that one. Psalms 119 and 10. 110. The wicked have laid a snare for me. Yet. I erred. Not from thy precepts. Alright. Because the wicked going to do what he had to do. But if you remember the Lord's precept. The Lord is going to um, prevail. <clears throat> Psalms 124 and 7. I was sold as escape as a bird. Out of the snare of the fowlers. The snare is broken. And we are escaped, you know. And the Most High is going to show Himself, man. You know, the Most High is going to show Himself, man. Why He is the Most High. All right. So it means that the Lord is going to allow Esau to put us in some situations to where it seems like we ain't going to get out of it, man. But the Lord is going to show. You know. Psalms so one hundred forty and five. The pride I've hit is snare for me. And cause they have spread a net by the wayside. They have set gins for me. Psalms 141 and 9. Keep me from the snares. Which they have laid for me. And the gins of the workers of iniquity. Let the wicked fall into their own nets. Whilst that I withal escape. I want to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Ba'ashim Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashim Kakwadash. Hey, man, pray for each other, man. That's something I got to do more, too. Pray for the Akim, man. You know, pray for the Akim more fervently, man. You know, that Yahweh, Ba'ashim Yahweh Shai, Ka'awah Shah, Blahatazal Nawah, which um, Ka'awah Shah was, is uh, make haste, Blahatazal Nawah is to deliver us. So with that, Shalom to the elect.